fall turkey gunboat landowner tenant. What time is it? Same time. It's only 4.25. We still have almost three hours. Well, that's a fun way to start out the hunt. <laughs> It's a nice dog. <laughs> it's all the hooks thing. <laughs> the old slick trick put a hurt on him. You know, it's funny, I have never killed a turkey out here. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Got Thanksgiving turkey for Sunday, October 22nd, and Dragos and I are back down at the River Bottom Farm. I ended up, uh, like I told you guys yesterday, I, I had a, something to do with my kids yesterday afternoon, and then this morning we were getting the combining done out on the home farm, so didn't make it out last night or this morning. We had that little weather front blow through, high winds yesterday, and uh, you know, yesterday the temp got up in the 70s, today the high is like 62, so a little high pressure front came through. There was no precipitation with it, but it feels nice today, nice and cool. Had good activity on the cameras this morning. We actually have a east-southeast wind, and so we've moved. We're on this turnip plot that we've been hunting down at the River Bottom Farm, but we're on the other side of it. And this is the first time I set this blind this year, and uh, we've already had some action. We, we no sooner got in the blind and started getting things set up, and I had three big toms come in. They worked their way all the way across the plot right here to 15 yards. And I was able to shoot a nice, a nice Tom. I always buy two fall turkey bow tags and I don't always use them, but uh, got Thanksgiving turkey down today. So that's a good start to the sit. And uh, same story as before, DK, he's been around, you know, in the middle of the night, typically. Maybe this little front will be something that'll get him up on his feet a little earlier. Last time he was on this plot, in daylight was last Wednesday, so five days ago. He um, he was actually here, it was right at last light or right after legal shooting, 6.55, something like that. So anyway, we've always had good sits here, lots of deer. And as we inch closer to the pre-rut, I expect some of these bucks that live around here to be checking these food plots at in the evening. I kind of went back and forth about going to sit the pinch or sitting on the river, but it's hard not to sit a green food source on October 22nd in the afternoon with this weather pattern. So here we are, we're gonna um, sit back, enjoy the evening and see if we can't keep the luck rolling.
this grape action. We just made it back to the truck. Ended up having a nice sit. Um, I think we saw about 12 deer and it was a handful of young bucks. The best one was that three-year-old that came right at five yards. Uh, movement was a little bit later than I thought it was gonna be. I think most of it happened just in that last 30 minutes, but nonetheless, a really fun sit. And uh, I'm excited for the upcoming week, as I mentioned earlier. So I'll be out probably tomorrow afternoon, but if not, definitely the last uh, few days of the week and into the weekend, I'll have a five-day stretch of hunting and. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can have some good activity. We'll catch up with you guys then.